So uh, I just want to make a quick summary of the week. Kasi parang hindi rin ako nakapag-update ng mga past few days. So medyo i- quick recap natin yung nangyari sa first week namin which is the induction week. So nung first day was orientation via Zoom. And then yung second day we met with the coordinator nung adaptation namin sa hospital. And then nung third day is our EPR training. So, hindi ko naman na kailan i-explain yun kasi hindi ko alam kung lahat ng hospitals is uh, undergoing EPR training. So, yun. Third day and then fourth day namin is uh, ba, BLS. So, yun. Nung fourth day na, nung Thursday was our BLS. And, uh, yun. Na- makikita yun naman yung previous na parang slides. Nagkuha ako ng onting seconds ng place kung saan kami nag-BLS. Just to compare the setting sa BLS na naattendan ko before at saka yung ngayon, yung ngayon sobrang, ewan ko, mas tutok kami. Kasi since COVID, uh, yung number of uh, attendees is less. So, nung nasa class kami, apat lang kaming uh, BLS attendees. Tapos isang, ko- uh, isang yun, coordinator ng BLS. So, mas tutok kami. Tapos makikita nyo dun sa room is apat din yung mannequins. Ewan ko na, kung nakuha pala lahat dun sa video. Pero yon apat yung mannequins. So, tigi-isa kaming mannequins na adult and uh, infant. So, yon Yung coordinator namin, tutok talaga siya sa amin. So, pagka hindi mo magawa ng maayos yung pagka-compression, uh, pupuntahan ka talaga niya. Tapos, isa pang maganda dun is makikita nyo, di ba, nasa bed yung, yung adult na mannequin. Sa tabi nun, merong maliit na device where you can see uh, the depth, the rate, and kung nare-release nyo yung pagkakompress nyo. So, uh, meron siyang ilaw na if it's yellow, you have to do it more. If it's green, then you're doing it right. So, makikita mo while you're compressing if it's, uh, if it's the right depth, if it's the right rate, and if it's the right release nung compression. So, maganda siya. At least, alam mo sa sarili mo if you're doing it right. And yun, yung coordinator, nasa tapat mo din. Which is, uh, she's telling you if you're doing things right. And then, so far, yung sa amin, wala naman kami yung katulad dati sa pag nag-BBLS tayo is yung isa-isang nagre-return demo. Hindi. Yung sa amin is talagang walang pressure. As a team, kayong gagawa. Kung kunyari, uh, papagawa sa inyo yung buong senaryo Uh, sasabihin ng coordinator, oh, okay, okay, ikaw yung sa compression, ikaw yung team leader, ikaw ang ganto ganyan ikaw ang maghahawak ng AED, ganyan-ganyan. So, tas magro-rotate kayo para lahat kayo makikita niya kung alam niyo yung ginagawa niyo during compression, during uh, handling of the AED, during uh, if you're going to see the patient unconscious, blah, 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 ganon. So, rotation kayo. And tutok talaga kasi yun, apat nga yung participants lang. Tapos, after nung BLS namin, um, siguro maybe like after an hour, I had my uh, occupational health appointment. And then, after nun, uh, kasi I-, I think dun sa hospital namin, mandatory, hindi ko alam kung sa lahat din ng hospitals is ganun, you have to meet with your occupational health nurse. But for us, uh, it is uh, mandatory. So, our last day is Friday. And we met with our coordinator the last time before our clinical practice. Um, so yon, binigyan niya kami ng mga pointers for uh, establishing relationship with our <laughs> with our uh, colleagues in the ward. So yon nagumpisa yung meeting namin with our coordinator, like what to expect for next week. Wa, uh, ano oras dadating, ganyan-ganyan. Kasi since ang start ata ng handover sa ward, sa hospital, is 7.30. So, we have to be there before 7.30. Policy kasi nila sa uniform is that you have to uh, dress up in the hospital. I- into your uniform, sa hospital na. So, sabi naman, mostly daw ng mga wards is meron namang uh, dressing room. So, yon pupunta ka ng hospital naka-casual, then you have to get dressed in the hospital. So, on Monday, most of us are going to be there before 7.30 to hear the endorsements. And then, um, ayun, 
Tapos tinanong ko, tinanong ko rin kung paano ba yung flow ng uh, clinical practice namin, clinical trial. <laughs> paano ba ang flow noon? Anong mangyayari? What do what should we expect? So ang sabi naman niya, since sa uh, aware naman na yung mga head namin doon about our adaptation. So, alam naman nila kung ano yung mga gagawin para sa amin. So, ang mangyayari, gani- sa pagkakaintindi ko ha, hindi ko sinasabing ganito lahat sa hospital. Pero sa pagkakaintindi ko, kasi, una, so, unang diniscuss is uh, organizational chart ng mga uh, sa nursing department. So, we have the Uh, nursing director, assistant DON, and then um, CNM3, CNM2, CNM1, senior staff nurse, and then staff nurse, tapos uh, student nurse, ganon. So, ang sabi niya is ang CNM3, kasi sa previous work namin, ang ranking ng nurses is not like that. So, medyo bago siya sa akin. So, kung, uh, just correct me if I'm wrong, So, ang pagkakaintindi ko is ang CNM3 is the one handling the whole ward. So, they were they were told already that uh, we're going to be with them during our adaptation. And yun na talaga yung ward na mapupuntahan namin. So, CNM2 is parang yung team leader ng ward. And then, CNM1, ganyan ganyan. CNM1 down is the one doing the bedside. So, tinanong ko yung coordinator namin, uh, sino ang magiging uh, like preceptor namin for the adaptation? Ang sabi niya is the CNM2. Merong nakatoka talaga sa amin na, na preceptor or co-assessor and yun yung magiging mentor namin for the whole adaptation. Tapos, uh, if ever hindi available yung co-assessor namin, we can be uh, shadowing with other nurses too. Pero, ang mainly na mag a talaga sa amin during the adaptation is yung uh, preceptor talaga namin, yung main preceptor namin. So, ayun, bale, in-explain din niya kasi dun sa, uh, like, manual ng NMBI is uh, for the adaptation, meron din kaming mga, like, uh, assessment tools. So, in-explain niya na, like, For your first and first to third week, you have the meeting called initial meeting record sheet. So yun dun daw kaya assess nung uh, preceptor mo and ilalagay nila yung mga assessment nila sa yo kung ano bang maayos ka bang trabaho ganon ganon. But I'm not sure how they're going to uh, assess you. I mean the criteria. Although meron meron siyang nakalagay dun sa parang booklet namin sa hospital kung paano kami i-assess nung mga uh, preceptor namin kung uh, from 4th to 5th week meron silang tinatawag na intermediate uh, meeting record which is yon second uh, second time kanilang i-assess sa pagtatrabaho mo yon kung okay ka ba kung nag-grow ka ba kung progressing ka ba? Are you progressing well sa ward? Are you adapting well to the ward? Ganyan. Tapos, dun sa sixth week is the final meeting record. So, yun na yung parang pinaka basihan kung makakapasa ka, sa, ka ba sa adaptation or what. Ganon. Ang sabi nila, minimum of six weeks yung adaptation but then, pwede kang ma-extend if uh, kailangan mo pa. If they're not yet that contented or satisfied that you can uh, do it on your own. So, yun. Pwede ka pa nila ipa-extend hanggang 12 weeks. Tapos, um, in-explain din nung coordinator namin na hindi ka pwedeng gumalaw on your own during your adaptation. Habang wala ka pang pin, hindi ka pa pwedeng, because you're not yet an RGN, so hindi ka pa pwedeng gumalaw independently. Although, meron kasi kaming manual sa hospital namin wherein nakalagay and naka-enumerate kung ano yung mga pwede mong gawin at hindi mo pwede talagang gawin. Let's check. Hindi ko pwedeng ipakita. Hindi ko, sorry, hindi ko pwedeng ipakita yung manual ng hospital namin. Kasi <laughs> malalaman nyo kasi nakulit <laughs> um, So, yon Meron dito nakalagay practices under indirect supervision if assessed by your assessor as ready. So, meaning, pwede mo siyang gawin 
as long as uh, may go signal yung assessor mo na ready ka na to do it. Like yung EWS assessment, uh, admission discharge procedure, um, completing assessment and collection of history of the patient, patient transfer procedure, mga ganon. Uh, pwede rin ang wound dressing if you're ready uh, as assessed by your preceptor. Yon, mga ganong bagay. Hindi ko nababasahin lahat ha, yung onti lang. Tapos, meron ding uh, practices under direct supervision. Level of assistance may, ver may vary when deemed competent by assessor or co-assessor. So, yon administration of oral and subcutaneous medications, which is according to sa, dun sa coordinator namin, hindi, hindi pala kami, hindi rin pala kami pwede magbigay ng oral, even oral medications kung wala kaming supervision with, ng uh, preceptor namin. So, yon use of insulin pens, peg feedings and NGT feedings, tapos urinary catheter flushing, collections of uh, specimen, yon mga oral tracheal suctioning, ganun. Meron talaga kaming practices na hindi, pwede, hindi namin pwedeng gawin. So, yon observe only practices yung nakalagay dun sa column na yon which is uh, giving of IV medications, IV fluids, blood products, IV flushes, double checking IV medications and double checking MDA drugs yon hindi namin pwedeng gawin yan marami pang nakalagay kasi meron daw katuloy yun sa IV IV cannula IV medications or med or any other medications may competency pa daw yan bago namin pwedeng mag ma magawa yon tas yun nga we have to have the pin first before we could be able to do those things so ang sabi naman nung coordinator namin wag daw kami matakot don't be afraid to ask any questions and if you don't understand what they're saying kasi yung mga Irish daw is mabilis daw magsalita alam naman natin na iba yung accent nila from the English that uh, we've learned from the Philippines so mahirap talaga siyang intindihin but then they are nice enough to repeat what they are saying and if you don't understand they are kind enough to answer whatever you want to ask and I hope everything goes well so sa mga kinakabahan dyan Ah, uh, wag tayong matakot kasi pag inuna tayo ng takot, eh baka magkamali tayo. Take this opportunity to learn sa policies ng hospital. Kung meron ka naman experience, di mo naman na kailangan matakot. Kailangan mo lang is matuto dun sa policy ng hospital and do sa routine ng hospital kasi iba-iba. I might give you an update for next week, sana. Uh, just to give you my insights and opinions about my experience. So, yun. So, yung first week naman, petics lang. Mga, mga orientation, orientation lang, workshop, workshops, ganun. After our last meeting with our coordinator, nung hapon, nag-workshop uh, kami for manual handling. So, yan. Ipapakita ko lang yung mga one second, two seconds uh, video nung mga <laughs> nung mannequin at saka nung mga some, some of the equipments na ginamit namin. Tapos yun, masaya naman yung manual handling. Uh, Irish yung nagtuturo sa amin. So, wish us luck and I hope we would succeed with our adaptation. <laughs> Kung may questions kayo, just comment down below. Is have a nice weekend. Love lots. <laughs>